Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope you all are doing well. Today is the last video on the series on making my prayer journal. I have one from for making the cover and uh, attaching the elastics. And then the second one is making the signatures and inserting them. And I will link them both in the end cards of this video. And the last one, I wanted to make a tassel. So I made this lovely tassel. I picked out colors from the fabric on my journal, some of those colors, and then I made this, this really fun tassel. Now, the directions for this tassel I got from Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song, and I will link her video below where she makes the tassel. She makes it a tiny little bit different than I do because she uses an eye pin instead of wire and um, I will show you what what how I adapted it but you can look at her video and do it her way or you can do it mine it's just wrapping the wire the rest is all the same so I'm gonna make I've already made one for my prayer journal and I love it so I'm gonna put that aside but I want to show you how to make make one too and you can put it on any of the journals that you want um, now I thought I was going to I would use uh, make a neutral one. I don't have a journal for it yet, but I will always have a journal, some kind of new, neutral journal in the future. So I am going to make one in neutral. So you're going to need to have some beads and preferably some that have a big hole. Like, see, this wood bead here has a nice big hole. You see that? Really big hole. And then you, you need one bead that has a big hole, and then you're going to need like another smaller bead to go on top of it. And that the smaller bead doesn't need to have a big hole. It can just be a smaller bead. But it does have to have a hole because your, your wire is going to come up through it. So I'm just, I'm just taking a second here to pick one uh, that I like. Um, that one might go through. I don't want that. Um, let me see here. I just have a little assortment of beads here. Maybe I'll just go ahead and use these two right here. Okay, so let me let me show you what we're doing. I picked out a whole bunch of neutral uh, fibers and things to use for the tassel itself. So all I'm going to do, now Lynn makes nine, I think takes nine pieces, and so that's what I'll do too. So. Let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and make it about this big since this little one piece of trim is that size. I'll go ahead and make all of them that size. And that was just on this little board piece of cardboard here by its little lonesome. So um, I'm trying to find the end. Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this other trim which is a little bit narrower. And I'll cut that the same size. I'm not measuring with a ruler or anything. I'm just measuring the piece, right? So I put those aside. Then I've got this super fun Maya Road trim. This one, this one is like all different, uh, like um, it's multiple things at once. So this is really good. So I'm just going to cut a length of that, okay, like this. I might actually go with two of these because I really like this trim. Let me see if I can't figure out how to get this off here. <laughs> it's all it's all funked up here. Let me see here. What's happening? This is this is very interesting trim. Now this piece is sticking off the end. I'm gonna make the tassel and then I can trim it up and, and uh you know fix it up. Then I have this this pretty vintage lace here. So I think I'll use some of this. Now this stuff is not going through a, I think I'll use two of the lace. This is not going through the um, hole of the bead or anything, so don't panic. You can use however thick you want, but you don't want to use something that's so stiff, you know, that it's not going to, you know, fall nicely and make a nice tassel, right? You don't want something super, super stiff. Okay, so then um, I also have some of my Hug Snug in this neutral color and I'm just going to cut that 
And as Lynn says, and as she's right, when you're cutting something like this that is thicker versus just the um, just the fibers, you probably want to go ahead and just cut the edges at an angle because they look a little prettier. They look they look a little less clunky. I think when you cut the the edges at a little bit of, ugh, a little bit of an angle. So I'm going to put that there. All right. And see, this is sticking out. That's bothering me. I mean, I can trim it up later. I, I said that, but I'm going to just trim it up now. Okay, so then I've got that. And then lastly, I've got some of this uh, eyelash trim. And so I'm going to use some of this. And this is always cut, fun to cut because when you cut it, you get a whole big mess. <laughs> okay, and then one more. Okay, so I can put out my fibers to the side. This is what I'm going to be using for my my um, tassel okay so Lynn uses a wire eye pin to, to wrap around the middle of this stuff I'm not because my eye pins are not long enough and like I said I, I link her video you can see what what I'm talking about I'm just using some wire and she goes and explains about the wire you don't want something that is so thin that it just you know won't hold uh, a sh its shape like if you want to make a loop because you are going to have to make some loops with this. I don't know what gauge this wire is, but you can see it's fairly it's fairly rigid, but I can bend it with my finger, okay? Um, and that's fine because when we make little loops and stuff, you really don't bend that much. So all I'm going to do is cut off a length, and I tend to be very generous with my, my wire. Um, Let's see here. Whoops, what, where did that go? Oh, okay, I just shot that somewhere. Is it on my desk? No, okay. So you got to be careful when you cut wire, especially, especially if you're cutting really small pieces. You need to make sure that you know where they're going. Now this wire I can find because it's a big piece, but at the end when you're trimming those tiny little pieces, you want to cup your hand around it. I'll show you when before you trim it because they can go in your eye if you're not wearing glasses or they can go on the floor and then your cats or kids or whatever might find them and you don't want that, okay? All right, so now she uses an eye pin, like I said, or a head pin. I'm just gonna make my own little eye pin. So all I'm gonna do is at the very end of this wire, I'm using my rounded pliers here and I'm just gonna make a little circle. I'm just gonna make the eye, okay? And then I'll straighten it up, okay? Okay, just like this. You see the little eye? Okay, now you gather up your your fibers and, and what have you, and you stick the, the eye part, or if you're using the head pin, you stick the head pin part facing down next to your fibers, okay, like this. Okay, I hope you can see my with my fat hands. You're just gonna put it around, around here. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap your eye pin, or in my case, the wire, around your fibers um, like two times, okay? Because we just want to hold them together, okay? So I'll show you. I'm doing it, and then I'll show you, okay? All right, so let me just get my little tool here and pinch them together so that they're close to each other. There we go. Okay, there's my little eye down here. Now the reason I made the eye is because I don't want bare metal sticking out in the middle of my tassel. If someone touches it, you don't want them to to hurt themselves or your, you know yourself on it. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and see, just pull the fibers around like this. Okay. And there's the beginning of your tassel. See how easy that is? And we can trim this up at the bottom and make it pretty. I love all these different... Um, I've got whites and off-whites in here. And all different textures. So that's really cute. So then I'm going to take this big wood bead. The one with the big hole in it. And I'm going to put it on. And I'm going to pull it down tight. Really tight. As tight as I can. Um... Let me see here. I, you might have to go ahead and take, and I know Lynn does this, take your pliers when you've, where you've wrapped it around and smush it fl as flat as you can. Let me see if I can do that here. 
Smoosh it flat, Helen. Okay. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to take my big bead and put it on and pull it down as tight as I can. Okay? As tight as I can. And then I'm going to take this little bead and pull it down as tight as I can. Okay? And it's going to look like this. All right? Now, I have way too much wire up here, but like I said, I always tend to go really generous with it. So I'm going to go about maybe an inch or a tiny bit bigger than an inch, and I'm going to cut it off. Okay. So I have a short piece like this. Can you see how short that is? There you go. All right. Now I'm going to take this, my rounding uh, pliers, and I'm just going to go ahead... You want to hold this down nice and tight, the beads in one hand. Hold them tight. Get your little uh, rounding pliers here. And you're just going to go down, 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 down until you get that nice and tight against your beads there. And then if you need to just straighten it up a little bit, you can do that to make sure it's pointing up. Okay. So now we have this at the top. Can you see that? Okay. I just went round and round and made that little loop at the top. How cute is this, right? So basically, right now, if you, if you had something to stick through there, you could attach it to something. But I'm going to show you what I do and what Lynn did. Okay, so I'm going to get a jump ring. Now, I bought some jump rings that are fairly large, um, fairly large jump rings, like this size, but I don't trust them that well. So what I use instead, what I trust more, is these, uh, no, not that one. This is, this actually I have used on other projects. This is one of those glasses chains you can get at the, like the Dollar Tree. Um, mine, the end pulled off, so I'm, I take this apart and use these little jump rings. They're not round, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't necessarily matter. So here's a chain that I have. I think that this is a part of a necklace. And the, again, the jump rings are not round, although here's one on the end here that is kind of round. So what I can do is just go ahead and take my, my pliers and open that up. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in my little hole here. Now, I if you use like a uh, book book rings, you can go ahead and close that up and just you know open the book ring and slip slip it on the book ring. But I like to put mine on um, lobster claws. Okay, so I'm going to get a lobster claw for this one and whoops and I'm just going to attach that jump ring I stuck in there in my lobster claw whoops and close that back up I was lucky I found this nice beefy uh, ring here it's not perfectly round I think it got stretched out a little somehow but it, it'll serve this purpose so I'm just going to make sure it's nice and closed. And always I roll the opening down to the bottom. All right. And then we can go down to the bottom of our little thing here. Let me excuse my reach. I'm going to get a little bit better shears here. And we can go ahead and trim off some of these fibers that were a little bit longer. And just trim them up. Okay. Okay. So there we have it, a super cute tassel. Look how easy that was. And it's got the little lobster claw. Now for the prayer journal that I made and the, the tassel I have here, I put the lobster claw through the elastic, the little elastic thing in the top, and that's what it's attached to. So that's it, that's how you make a super easy little tassel. 
and they're so fun to make. I mean, you could even use these for like Christmas, you know, Christmas tree decorations or something like that. I just love to have poofy things on my journals, things sticking out and everything. So I thought these tassels were super fun. So check out Lynn's video below. And if you want to use, if you've got the longer eye pins, that'll work. Or if not, like I said, just use some sturdy but pliable um, wire. Uh, instead and cut it to the length that you you think you need so that's it guys I hope you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I ask that you do and until the next video guys I hope you all are truly blessed bye bye